I haven't weighed myself in so long. 175 on the nose. No! <laughs> no matter how hard I try after this is over, will I have that dream body? Is it even possible for me? This isn't just you're gonna take an hour out of your day to go to the gym. This is a massive life makeover. Holy sh! I'm sore. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Over the past year, I've had the incredible opportunity to take on a variety of extreme physical fitness challenges, whether it's training like a superhero or training like a supermodel. Along the way, several people in my life have expressed interest to me in going on a similar journey. And a lot of people have supported me along the way during my own journey. So I feel like it's time for me to give back. Welcome to my new series, Extreme Body Makeover. With the help of celebrity trainers and nutritionists, I am going to help my friends achieve their ultimate potential. For the very first episode of this series, I'm so excited to help my dear friend Olivia Marie achieve the body of her dreams. She helped me learn how to do my makeup for the first time. She helped me buy makeup for the first time. She's frequently my makeup artist behind the scenes on a lot of my really big videos like the Victoria's Secret video, several of my fight scenes, and most recently, she was my pageant mom in the pageant series. Olivia has just been the most supportive friend throughout the journey of my channel, and so I'm really excited to give back to her because I know that this is something she's wanted for a really long time. Olivia will be training for seven weeks, all leading up to a celebrity style photo shoot. Whenever I'm on set with Michelle or seeing her go through her crazy challenge accepted videos, I see her kicking ass and wish that I was that kick ass. And I'm always just wondering how she pushes herself as far as she does. I know that Olivia is incredibly focused and goal oriented. Recently, she's been focusing so much on her job that she hasn't been able to focus on her health and fitness. Olivia is actually a former ballerina. I trained to be a professional ballerina until I was 19. There is an immense pressure to be a certain weight, to be very thin, but also very strong. Making the adjustment from being a dancer for 15 years to doing absolutely nothing physically was a shock to my body. In the last couple of years, I've noticed that if I stand for long periods of time, my knees will start to hurt. My lower back will start to ache. I would really like to get back to knowing that my body's just going to support me. I haven't gotten a picture taken of myself professionally in at least two years. So the idea of doing a photo shoot at the end of this is exciting, but also a little nerve wracking. Hi, this Hi, is hello. Brandon and Nick. Brandon yes. will be doing your nutrition. Nick will be kicking your ass in the gym. You're in amazing hands. They have worked with tons of celebrities, models. I really wanna make sure that what Olivia experiences is sustainable and applicable to her everyday life once the challenge is over. What do you wanna get out of this? Mental goals, being able to motivate myself physically. I kind of wanna get back to the way I was looking when I was a dancer. I just have this like fantasy of going in and buying myself like a really tight, expensive dress and like walking into a party and looking great, <laughs> like, that's, that's like J-Lo. I really admire J-Lo, Jenny from the Block, Jennifer Lopez. I think J-Lo is incredible. Not only does she have an amazing body, she's so athletic. Another reason I'm inspired by J-Lo is actually by her mentality. She's such a boss. She has like 8 million jobs and she kills all of them. I want to work that hard at things in my life. I just want to be like J-Lo. <laughs> And I want to have a banging bod and I want to have an awesome ass. <laughs> I mean, I like my ass already, but it's like, you know, it could be better. JLo, she's been fit pretty much since we've seen her on camera from, mm -hmm. you know, the Fly Girls and then Living Color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But recently, she's really developed a lot of lean mass. She was always known for her abs and, you know, for her butt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's like her arms. She, like, just posted a picture yesterday where yes. she was like, yes. yeah. We're going to need to make being consistent a priority, get you in on a regular basis, and steer you in the right direction, what to do on your own. I haven't weighed myself in so long. 175 on the nose. No! <laughs> I've seen so many videos and before and after photos online, but to actually be doing it is so different and you suddenly feel so exposed. And to have somebody poking at your fat and grabbing your fat is very uncomfortable. I understand that it's just part of the process, but it wasn't fun. I weighed more than I thought, so I was even more self-conscious. I wasn't the type of person that looked in the mirror every day and was like depressed or horrified by what they saw. It was more mental for me. It was more about having 
self-discipline. I was more self-conscious about the fact that I wasn't taking care of myself. Getting the look. Obviously, we're gonna need to get the body fat down. I would say getting to, what, Nick, like maybe 20%. Mm -hmm. I would say an average of losing one, two pounds per week would be a good goal. What type of training plan are you guys envisioning for Olivia? Combination of cardio and weight training. Weight training will be weightlifting exercises mixed with high intensity intervals. We'll vary it up, you know, keep you interested and really just keep you moving throughout the workouts. I'm excited about the weightlifting because it's something I've always really wanted to try. And I get to the gym, I see all of the husky muscular guys <laughs> in the corner like grunting and <laughs> like 80 pound weight, probably more than that, I don't know, but I always do get intimidated and so I stay over in like the matted section and do my ab work and leave. <laughs> <laughs> but it is something yeah. that I'm like, I like that feeling of strength. Oh, yeah. So you're, you're, I'm excited about it. You'll definitely walk away with that ability, yes. the confidence yeah. and the knowledge to jump in with the biggest of bodybuilders. We're gonna start off a little warm up, just uh, get the blood pumping. I'm having so much fun, my friends are here. Garrett's being unnecessarily competitive. The first workout with Nick, I was nervous. The night before, I uh, couldn't sleep. The whole impending process was very intimidating. I'm not really a morning person, so I didn't want to be late the first day. Luckily, Michelle and Garrett were there, so it wasn't just me. I had a little support system there. All right, guys, last one here. T push up. I was pleasantly surprised. It was definitely difficult, but I had this image in my head of basically getting worked to death every day, and it wasn't that at all. We definitely worked really hard, and we got our ass kicked, but not to a point where we couldn't function. And it was fun. Afterwards, I was like, okay, I can do this. You could tell Olivia has some fitness experience. She was in control of her body. She was graceful. She had good balance. One of the things that we're gonna focus on is training in the morning. We gotta work around a work schedule, and I know that's gonna be a challenge in the beginning. Not sure about the morning workouts, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Felt really badass lifting. That's like what I've always wanted to try, and doing it, I was like, okay, this feels right for me. I really just want Olivia to feel empowered in the gym. I want her to feel excited to go. I haven't done a video like this before, even though a lot of people have asked me to, because the challenges that I put myself through are extreme. This isn't just, you're gonna take an hour out of your day to go to the gym. This is a massive life makeover. I just woke up and holy shit, I'm sore. <laughs> Nick said that if we were really sore, we should do cardio. So I'm gonna go to a cycling class. The first week was tough, not just physically, but emotionally, and just trying to figure out how to make my life work around this new thing that I had put into my life. I would wake up at 6 a.m., or I would try to wake up at 6 a.m. I would have my breakfast, go to the gym by 7 a.m., work out for an hour, and then after, I would shower and get ready for work, and that would all be done by 9 a.m. That was new experience for me. I never would have done that. Prior. I think the first week was equally as nerve wracking for Olivia as it was for me because I was so worried I was going to get a phone call from her saying, I'm done, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so over this. I think a lot of people have this assumption that if you get a celebrity trainer and nutritionist, everything's handed to you on a gold platter and all you have to do is be patient and six weeks later you have the body of your dreams. That's only a portion of the story. So I'm at work and I got my nutrition plan finally. I'm so excited. However, I did just get my lunch for the day without getting to look at it first. So I'm hoping that what I just got for lunch is okay. That is definitely not what I got for lunch. Sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll fix it. I'll fix it tomorrow. We are at Olivia's apartment. I'm here to clean out her kitchen. Obviously, you're not gonna have mayonnaise or a lot of these sauces. I honestly, can I tell you that I eat like a lot of mayonnaise. Really? I would eat like this tuna salad for lunch every day and I would put a f ton of mayonnaise in oh it. Oh my God. Oh. No, not my teriyaki sauce. Yes. No, this is a staple in my home. Don't look at the American cheese slice that's just sitting there. <laughs> I often struggle with cooking for myself. I have trouble getting home from work and making time to make a nice healthy meal. I have a hard time going to the grocery store, taking the time to think about what ingredients I might need. I don't wanna spend a lot of money, get home and let it rot in the fridge because I'm too lazy to cook it. My solution to that issue was I'm just gonna buy frozen meals because they're never gonna go bad. They're not gonna be a waste of money, but I know they're full of crap. What we need to do is transition your food from the freezer to the fridge so that it's organic and fresh 
fresh and mm -hmm. you feel more ownership over it too because you're making it like that's an important like mental thing I want to take a look at the nutrition plan that Brandon gave you yeah show you kind of how to like organize a grocery list because people get meal plans and they're like cool I have what I need but then mm -hmm. you got to take the meal plan and make a grocery list that's effective I always keep my meal plan open on my phone okay. that way like if I'm out at a restaurant I can go in the drop down when I make a grocery list I make a list of all of the things in the meal plan first, and then I separate them into bulk items, and the second half is perishable items. Bulk items you can buy a ton of, and they'll last forever. Yeah. Perishable are the ones that you're gonna have to buy every week. You're only having to buy half of these things every single week. So your first grocery bill will be expensive, mm -hmm. and the rest will actually probably be cheaper than what you're usually buying. Game changer was definitely when Michelle took me to the grocery store and showed me how to efficiently plan for a week. You have to take time to go to the grocery store, meal prep, plan, budget appropriately. It's a lot to handle. And something that celebrities have that people like us don't are private chefs, drivers, assistants, people to take all of that thinking pressure off of you. Even if you have a trainer and nutritionist, you have to put in a ton of work. Sunday morning, I have my oatmeal and strawberries, and here's my roommate with his postmated McDonald's platter. Yeah, it's uh... I hate him. I started my day with half a cup of oatmeal and three quarter cups sliced strawberries, and that was what I had before my workout to get my carbs going. Immediately after my workout, I would have my bag of breakfast, which was kind of gross to other people, but I thought it was fine. Half a cup of egg whites and two slices of turkey bacon. Mid-morning snack at work, I would have five ounces of plain unsweetened almond milk yogurt. Plain unsweetened yogurt is disgusting. <laughs> However, I got to put in blueberries and that made it taste amazing. For lunch, I would have quinoa lettuce and grilled chicken. Then I would have a small protein shake, just a cup of almond milk with a scoop and a half of the powder. And then for dinner, I had more chicken, green beans, and nine ounces of sweet potatoes. I am in the process of making lunch. I did not meal prep last night like I should have. I went to bed, kind of forgot. I'm sure moving forward, this will not be my life. I think I'm going to figure out how to do this the night before and shit like that. And like make my dinner chicken and my lunch chicken. The other thing is I have to drink like 80 to 170 ounces of water a day. I don't even know what that amount of water looks like. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends that won't be ya. He just murdered me. I was doing like ropes and all this crazy stuff that I always see people doing in the gym, but I've never actually tried. I got a parking ticket. Thank you, Los Angeles. And I'm eating the rest of my breakfast out of a bag. Once I got through that initial week, it was pretty smooth sailing. I just stuck to the meal plan. The workouts in a way got easier mentally because I felt like I was beginning to belong at the gym. Nick kept challenging us. He kept wanting us to improve, but I was feeling stronger and I was feeling more confident. Today, Olivia and I are working out together. Don't shoot this right now. <laughs> It's week two. You just got weighed. How'd it go? I was 175 when we started, and I just weighed in at 169.5. What? I'm really proud of Livia. Go, Livia, go! Me too. I always really enjoyed any time I got the chance to work out with her because it was a massive motivator. She would always like tell me to keep going and to kill it, and that worked really well. I loved that we had a support system for each other. This video is obviously for Olivia, but what I was pleasantly surprised by was how much she was encouraging me to do the same. Watching someone else experience this for the first time and be so diligently committed to the meal plan made me want to kick my own ass even more. Today, I had to kind of improvise. I had to run to Ralph's and make a salad there because I forgot to defrost my chicken last night. I was so tired after the workout that I just had a moment of weakness. I just wanted to go to bed. I am encouraged by the fact that I've already lost almost six pounds. A couple weeks in, Olivia texted me saying she felt like she hadn't seen any changes. And that was crazy to me because I could see changes within her. I could tell that her face was slimming down, her waist was slimming down, and her skin was becoming more clear. And I think that this is just a testament of how we see ourselves in the mirror every day. So it's difficult to see the drastic changes. I thought that I would be feeling more confident. It's that mindset of, will I ever have that dream body? Is it even possible for me? This past weekend was the first time that I had to go to like a 
party where there were like snacks on the table and it was all like my favorite things like cheese and crackers and charcuterie and like all that like bougie shit. and I couldn't have any of it. I think I had like an olive. My friends were going out to parties and stuff and I couldn't drink. It was kind of lame, I'm not gonna lie. At the top of this, if you asked me if social drinking was important in my life, I probably would have told you no, but now I'm realizing that that is actually something I enjoy and it was harder to cut out than I expected. I had a bad day, like a really like top 10 bad days, bad day. Today, sucked. All I want to do is go to bed, watch a Disney movie, and eat my feelings away. But at the same time, I also want to go to the gym and run for like 10 miles and just get all of my frustrations and emotions out. So I'm going to go do the latter because I have to. <laughs> I never really cheated on the meal plan and I think it's because I didn't realize there was an option to cheat. <laughs> so I was very strict with everything. <sighs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. Nick took a video of me doing an arm workout and I kept that video on my phone and I kept watching it back because that was the first time I saw myself looking slimmer and like more muscular, stronger. I was kind of amazed at what I saw. You guys, baby abs. Day one of week five, worked out this morning, went great, I'm feeling amazing. I really thought that I was decently confident before we started this, but I am like miles, eons more confident now than I was before, so I can't even imagine how I'll feel at the end of the two weeks. I've learned so much, and being able to like literally see physically that it's possible, I just know I'll never be able to have an excuse in the future because I'll have the tools and I'll know how to make it happen. I think I'm gonna go shopping right now because I need new pants. <laughs> when you see celebrities who go through massive body transformations, going through that experience now myself, I can see how they achieve it. They have professionals like Nick and Brandon. They have trainers and nutritionists who know what they're doing. They know the science. They know exactly what to give them. It's not magic. I think a lot of people think that weight loss and nutrition and all that, a lot of it is left to chance. It doesn't have to be. For the past six weeks, I have been looking forward to this. You're gonna buy a new dress for your new body. I am the shopping mom this time. I feel yeah. fine, but like it just looks kind of like, this is like if Big Bird had like a s really slutty sister. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Look at you. Look at your ass. Yes. Yes. Look at your waist. Oh my god. Are you happy? Are you ecstatic? This is amazing. You're gonna walk out of here with four dresses and I can't wait. This feels crazy on my body. Where did my boobs go, Michelle? Who cares? Your ass is still there. I feel like a ballerina again. Cause you are. Cause I used to have no titties. <laughs> when you see people on Instagram look like this, you think it's gonna be so much harder to get there. Like that's not well, my you've been experience. working really hard. No, yeah, it's been hard, but I thought I would be like throwing up every day. You're doing it the healthy way, and that's the difference. Yeah. And like, I just didn't expect to get this good of a result. It's our last week. Woo! It's the first day of the end. <laughs> week. Seven was overwhelming and stressful and exciting because I had worked so hard for so long towards this goal and all of a sudden it was within reach. But there were all these things that we had to do in preparation for the photo shoot. Michelle and I went to go get spray tans, had to do my nails, had to get hairless. We couldn't have like sodium and things like that. Those are what make the food good. So I wasn't really enjoying the food that week. I wish I could just drive to like the Taco Bell drive-in. The final week of workouts was harder for me mentally because we were doing the same workouts, just a bunch of reps, and that made the hour-long workout feel longer to me. I was just looking at the clock waiting for us to be done. There are people like JLo, for example, that have photo shoots and video shoots every day of their life that they're thinking about preparing for. I had one, and I could barely handle that. Oh my God, I'm holding your hand. At the end of the road, end of the journey, getting to sit down and go through the before and after photos really drove it home. When we first started day one, you were 175 and you were at 24.1% body fat. We set your goal at 20%. Your weight now from 175 is at 157. 
so that's substantial. That's 18, that's pounds. 18 pounds. 18 pounds! It's a lot, Almost right? three pounds a week. Your body fat, we'll talk about that. It was at 24.1, as we said before. Now, it's at 16.28. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so, so that's, that's 7.82% change, right? But the weight, 16.61 pounds of fat. 16 pounds of fat? Yes. 0.61. <laughs> almost, almost 17. Almost 17. <laughs> Rounding up, that's 17. So you have not seen your before photo since no. day one? No. Wow. Look at you. Ew! Wow. Look at your jawline! Look at that. You can see it now, it exists. Look at you. Still thin, Look at but the, in a good way. The difference in your waist. Look at your face here. <laughs> Not, not that the there's anything no, we'll get a better one wrong with, with that, but look at your expression there versus there. Yeah. I mean, you it's a different person. Person, yeah. You exude confidence here. Okay. And check out the guns. Yep. One of my favorite things about this process Rocket. is seeing your confidence grow. I see it in the way you carry yourself, the way you like run your life now. You don't take BS from anybody, and it's amazing. These are some of the benefits of exercise and following a nutrition program that mm -hmm. you don't necessarily think of when you start that journey. I'm never going back. This is a part of my life now. Thank you for that. Thank you for trusting me. It is time for Olivia's photo shoot, and I'm so, so excited for her. Mm -hmm. Look how hot you are. Look at her back. Ow. I just never thought I would be somebody that would have that type of transformation. So seeing it really was believing it. And I was just really proud of myself. I'm really proud of the way I look, but I'm really proud of the way I was able to integrate this into my life. And moving forward, I'm excited by the idea of making health and fitness a part of my life. This has truly been a life-changing experience. I know that sounds so corny and cliche, but it's true. I'm just really grateful that I got to do this. I knew that Olivia had been eyeing this one dress for a while, so it was such an honor to go shopping with her and pick it up for her photo shoot because she deserved that dress. I loved that she was just really excited, and it shows in her photo shoot. Olivia just looks so beautiful and amazing and happy, and I was so happy to just give back to her and support her in that way. If you enjoyed this video and this new series on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to see me take on another extreme body makeover with somebody else. And as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Thank you so much, Olivia, for being a part of this. Always an honor. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.